Welcome to another edition of Small Talk for You. This morning I wanted to take a look at exception handling in Faro. It's going to be the same as exception handling in Squeak and largely similar to what you'll find in VisualWorks because it follows the ANSI standard. So you take a look at the way you do this. You take the block of code that possibly might throw an exception, put it in a block, and here I'm going to simulate that just by forcing a zero divide. So on the exception you expect, and you can have exception sets, which would just mean you have a collection of exceptions that you want to possibly try to catch. More useful if you're doing something like HTTP or FTP, and you might run across a variety of network exceptions, but here we're just going to do the simple thing. So the exception you expect to catch, do with the exception coming in as an argument to the block, and then some handling. The handling here is just going to be printing to the transcript, which we will take up here and put where you can see it. So let me move that back down a bit. And let's go ahead and see what happens. So we'll just highlight this, do it, do it, and you see we get zero divide. Nothing exciting. Now what we're going to do is ignore it. On the exception, we'll do this a resume. The resume just means pick up after the exception and carry on as if nothing happened. Not always the best handling, but for an exception that is resumable, you can do that. And to find out whether an exception is resumable, what you want to do is you want to go to testing here and you'll find it is resumable, the default for the abstract superclass exception here is resumable, it is true. What you want to do is check the subclass. Some are resumable, some aren't. It depends on what kind of error it is. And for your own exceptions, you want to make that choice based on what's actually going on in the code. So some exceptions, it makes sense to be able to pick up and carry on. Others, maybe not so much, like out of memory, probably not a good idea to resume. Here, we're going to return from the block with an alternate value. What we're going to do is on the zero divide, we're just going to return. Now the alternate value in the case that you do this with no specific value coming back is nil. So we'll do this and we're going to print the result this time instead and you see we get back nil. If you wanted to return an alternate value, what this means with return or return here colon is you're going to have that exception block that through the exception instead of coming back with the exception we're going to make like it came back with whatever we're handing it so here we come back with nil so it's as if it worked and you came back with nil here it's as if it worked and came back with five so we'll do that print it there we come so those two handle the exception by returning some value. You can also retry. This I showed in VA Smalltalk a little while ago. This isn't implemented in VA. In Faro, it works. You can take the context stack, rewind it, and basically rerun with an alternate block. So you can hand the context a different block and say, here, instead of that block, let's give you another one. So you can take 10 divided by 0. And here we're saying, you know, if that happened, let's just retry with 10 divided by 2. Do a print it here, and you get 5. So really, the same result is returning with 5. But the execution's a little different. Instead of just returning with some specific alternate value, here we're returning with a block that we're going to hand to the context in place of the one we initially tried. So a little different in terms of execution. The end result, much the same in terms of execution of your actual code. And that's really all there is to exception handling in Faro. There's a few other things, but you can look that up here. You can see that you can signal exceptions. We'll get into that in a future screencast and handling. You can see the various other things that I didn't really go through, but went through the main ones, retry, retry using, return. So these are all the things you can do with an exception that you want to handle in your own code. I'd strongly suggest you browse class exception, look over the class comment, look over the APIs here, and try something like this. So it's better for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.